mm-hmm. question. Just w- and one more second. After this question, uh, I would like each and every one of you, because I didn't send an email before, uh, to think about one tool and one tip. Okay. Okay? Mm-hmm. Yes. I have a question for Diana today. Uh, as you mentioned earlier, sure. you uh, have to speak to me in the C-Way. Okay, so originally we thought we were targeting the CEO because we thought that it needs to be like a top down. What we discovered that that can be just almost anyone in the company who feels like they need a tool. I'm not gonna promote, I'm speaking very generally notice. <laughs> I'm afraid from fail. Um, and um, that's why we target them on Facebook because um, I mean, Mori Bauman or customer acquisition as well is you should target this, talk to her sometime and ask her because that's really her job. But when they're there, they're just people in their free time. But if they find someone, something that will look like it's a solution for their problem, it can be almost anyone in the company or anyone who manages three to five people. No, so it can be like a CMO. It can be a team leader, a uh, um, tech team leader. It can be, it could re- it can just be anyone. And that's why it's, it's more like a B2C. You're welcome. Again, it goes back to the persona, right? I mean, it really goes back to your overall marketing plan and approach and the content just a part of it. Okay. Okay. So who should go first? One tool, one tip. Uh, so tool, obviously, there's too many. Uh, I think one useful tool is called BuzzSumo. And yeah. if you don't know it. We we'll love really BuzzSumo. Ha- yeah. Well, everything's with Sumo these days. Uh, but um, BuzzSumo essentially allows you to, you know, type in a few keywords and find the most shareable content for those keywords. So you know what's effectively working and you can sort of replicate that. Um, in terms of tip, I think it, again, goes without saying if you're a marketer, but really to know your audience, especially if you're selling something online, uh, I think it's critical to try and attend some physical events. Uh, I find that invaluable because, you know, if you you, ha- you spend two days, you speak to hundreds, if not thousands of, I don't know, people, and you get so much out of it. Uh, you know, you see what's bugging them, you know, what language they use. You you get the whole thing in a very condensed period, which is great. Game of Hacks, by the way, was born at a conference. Okay, I saw like 30 people staring at a wall. Uh, I didn't realize what's going on. I, you know, went there and I saw this poster with a piece of code and it said, find the security vulnerability. And I said, okay, <laughs> something's going on there. And, you know, that's that's how everything started. But again, know your audience. Physical event is a great uh, way to do it. Okay, so, um, tool. Uh, the name Octopus came... Oh, sorry? Sniply, right? No, not Sniply. <laughs> um, sorry. So the name came up here, but I, I just want to say I've been using Octopus for the past year or so. It's a sh- social media marketing tool, um, kind of like Hootsuite or Buffer, if you know them. But for me, it kind of mixes the both of them. And the best part about Octopus is that it really lets you measure the ROI from your social media. So you know exactly who clicked on every post, who converted from ev- each and every one of your posts. You get a dashboard so you see which groups are most performing, which messages are mo- most performing. So so it's, it's, it's a great tool for content marketers. Um, and the tip is, um, so I don't invest a day and a half writing a blog post, I must admit. Maybe it's because I have the idea at least a week ahead and I let it like sit in my head. And by the time I get to actually write it, I know like I have, I always also, I already have the sub chapters. I sit down, I write it. It takes me about three to four hours, I get it out to uh, proofreading or editing, always, always, always get somebody to, to read your content before you put it out there, not just for proofreading, but for actual professional editing to cut out your bullshit, because sometimes when we write, we tend to add some of the bullshit. Um, so maybe that's an art tip, but the, the real tip is <laughs> I spend more time actually distributing the content than I invest in writing the content. And distributing the content doesn't mean like, you know, clicking the share button and pushing out the same messages to all of the social media platforms? No. I um, mean, for each social media platform and for each group, I invest the time to get the message to um, to be relevant to the audience. So I, I'm already familiar with those groups and those firms because I live there. I'm there all the time. So if it's a B2B 
um, marketing group, I emphasize the B2B part about the content. If it's um, the business development group, then this is what I emphasize. And if this specific post is not relevant for this group, then fine. You know, you don't have to post everything that you're doing into every different uh, group or, or platform, just post what's relevant in there, but really invest the time thinking, where can I share this uh, post? I already gave a great tip about Quora. There are other forms. I, I assume that, um, for example, a sub doesn't post on growthhacker.com because it's a, it's a marketing forum. So there's no, maybe there's no point posting uh, stuff for um, uh, development developers out there, but there are other platforms. So know where your audience is and invest enough time um, knowing those platforms and knowing how to connect to your audience in each specific platform. Um, so I kind of feel I already mentioned help a reporter out if this and that Quora, I use okay to post I've tested like half a dozen others. They are amazing, mostly because they give excellent customer support. So they're just they have you covered. If you don't get it, if it gets complicated, if you want additional functionality, they are just their team is amazing. I'm at all with them. Um, so um, I think I'm going to say medium. It's a blogging platform. Wizzy WYSIWYG, beautiful. And the way I use it is just, that's like my personal blog, but my personal blog is professional and I use it to test the waters. I will put something out there and I see if it gets read, if it gets recommended. And if it does, I will create a more targeted version of it for our blog or for the next web or for Venture Beat or for whoever I'm trying to, to get. So that's my recommendation. Um, tip, when you start measuring, don't try and measure everything try and focus think of the one or two numbers that are really relevant to you is it visitors is it um, percentage of shares from visits is it time on site just try and figure first just one number even and put it on a flat screen tv or on a, one of your tabs that you can see it all day and just focus on that and the last thing i want to say is i'm hiring um, <laughs> i'm looking for a content marketer who's better than me so if i'm don draper i'm looking for my peggy so I'm dariadepost.com. If you're up for the challenge, just uh, ping me. And if you will find an employee here, you're going to get um, the employee and you going to get a t-shirt. I found a job in B2B Talks. Come to the next event. <laughs> um, tool. I think that the most important technology that I can think of uh, that should be, I know that people that know me here will say, okay, you're saying it all the time. But uh, the most important tool that I can think of that needs to be the baseline of all marketing operations today is marketing automation platform. You cannot manage a digital marketing organization without a marketing automation platform. It could be uh, whatever tool you use. It could be Pardot, it could be Acton, it could be uh, HubSpot. It could be, if you're really uh, unique, uh, Marketo, or it could be MailChimp which also has a, some level of an automation tool in it, which is true, by the way, which is true. Um, there are different prices for it but and different uh, capabilities. But the basic essence of marketing automation, the ability to track individual uh, engagement with your content across channels is key for everything, at least that we do and most of our clients do. And clients that don't have it, we just tell them, okay, now go buy it, come back, let's start working. Okay, this is extremely, extremely, extremely important. It's like the baseline. Uh, so that's in the tool. Uh, when we're talking about a tip, um, so it's 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 the the eighty twenty point that we've discussed before, right? So measure as uh, the key points. Identify the relevant things that you really need to measure that have an effect. That have two elements in it. First of all, have an effect on your business. Okay, so a KPI should be the key performance indicator should be something that is relevant for your uh, for your business, but also something that you can actually affect. Meaning if you throw another dollar at it, you can change the number. So it doesn't really matter if uh, something affects your business, but you have no control on it. So who cares, you know, unless you're a serendipity kind of guy, right? So measure the relevant things for your business that you can actually affect and keep it as simple as possible. But make sure that in the back end, you're actually able to track through the funnel um, the engagement with your customers. Uh, because the content marketing stuff is very complex. It's very expensive. It's a kind of a fixed cost, right? You can't just say, today I'm going to write a couple of posts and then I will not invest in it for half a year because it's not, you know, it's not like a conference or a paid campaign. You can't start and stop it. It's going to be a fixed cost. So with marketing automation and with the right KPIs in mind, you're able to actually run it as a part of your business and not as a glorified hobby. Let's go this way. Okay. Um, Yes. 
for brutality all of the time. Usually, a group is a brutality. I end up with like two or three brutalities, but I can only hire one. Let's share it. Okay. Okay, guys. I like it. I like it. Yeah. Okay, we will open. I'm four. I'll be able to be happy to contribute to three talks. Okay, let's open. We'll figure it out. I will talk with you uh, next week. That's let's do that. We we had a discussion because a lot of people come to me and ask me if I know good people for uh, uh, for for key positions. Let's open a let's open a board and and share the resource, share the love. Cool. Good. Um. Okay. Thank you all for being a part of this event. Thanks for the guy in Bright, from Bright Info that bought us the alcohol. And thanks for the awesome panelists. Yeah. And unlike other events, one thing I can tell you, this is definitely not the last one about content marketing. <laughs>